Hello, and on behalf of the Accutech crew, thank you for looking at our YouTube channel. In general, your cost to process an order is fixed, regardless of the total dollar amount of the order. In a highly automated business that requires little assistance or consultation from the inside salesperson, the cost to process an order may be as little as $20. On the other hand, in a consultative sales environment, the inside salesperson must know the application of the product and may be asked to recommend various options and product configurations. In a consultative sales environment, the cost to process an order can exceed hundreds of dollars. Knowing your cost to process an order and paying attention to your average order amount is one of the many factors in improving your profit margins. Average order rankings by customer are also important when determining your cost to service a customer and the true profitability of that customer. So two key questions are, how can you increase your average order amount and what steps can be taken to reduce your cost to process an order? Today's video will concentrate on how to increase your average order amount. McDonald's figured this out many years ago when they created value meals. Also, Amazon suggests items that you may also like to purchase because their systems analyze items that sell together. Your MIS system can also analyze items that sell together and assist your inside sales staff in suggesting and recommending complimentary and add-on items. First, let's enter an order for an item that contains complimentary and add-on products. We'll go to our order entry module and access a customer. We'll enter our product and select it. And you'll notice that once chosen, the system will look to see if complimentary items exist. And if they do, they will automatically be displayed in our complimentary item entry grid. The system will automatically calculate the price of each item based on your customer and the products being displayed. The quantity on hand displayed is based on the default location associated with the inside salesperson that's entering the order. At this point, I simply enter the quantity the customer wants to purchase and then press my done key and these items will be automatically placed into the order. Some ideas of what could be contained in the complimentary items window are a product that requires an MSDS sheet or an operations manual, maybe a product with a core charge, a test meter, for example, that could also be sold with batteries in a carrying case. Many users will also manually enter interchange items with higher margins than the master product being sold. Not only can this feature increase your sales and average order amount, it can also help make your new salespeople look like seasoned veterans. At this point, you may say, hey, wow, what a great tool, but sounds like a lot of background work to get the information loaded into my system. Actually, there's very little work involved. Let's finish this order and move to our inventory module. We'll choose our product sales consultant option. Then we'll choose our complimentary products option. There are two ways to load complimentary items into your system. One, you can manually add the items using the complementary product maintenance function. This is generally only used when you want to add a product, interchange, or substitute item. For example, you may sell a similar product, but they come from a different manufacturer. It is possible that you have better margins on one product, so you may want the system to suggest the alternate product when inside sales is taken in order. The preferred option is to let your MIS system analyze what products are selling with each other then let the system automatically load the items for you. Let's take a look at the complementary item analysis function. Depending upon your business, this option can be very useful and can save a lot of time. You should be careful with this function as you do not want single customer purchases to dominate and influence your complementary items sales definitions. The report has various parameters and filters that will allow you to tune your definition, but let's take a look at two key user-defined parameters. First, the number of occurrences option tells the system to only include items that have been sold at least a certain number of times during the date range entered. For example, if three is entered, only items that have appeared on an invoice at least three times during the date range entered will be used in the analysis. Second, the percentage of matches option allows you to tailor your definition of a companion item. If 50 is entered, the system will consider a companion item as any item that is sold with another item at least 50% of the time. Finally, the update the sales consultant question allows you to take the information contained on the report and automatically set up complementary items in your system. We recommend you initially answer no to this question so you can study the results then adjust your definition 
number of occurrences and percentage matches to meet your needs. I will note that even though you choose the automatic load option, you can still add, change, or delete complementary products. The system will exclude items you assemble and their components during the analysis because a component is not considered a complementary product. Let's go ahead and enter a date range. We'll choose all products. We'll use three occurrences and 50% and we will not update our sales consultant. I will send the report to the screen and let's take a look at a couple of things on the report. First, the system will show your product, the description, the number of occurrences, which means how many times has it sold within that date range, the complementary item and its description, the number of times it appeared with that item, and then the percentage match. If items appear that are not complementary, maybe due to a single customer dominant sale, try increasing the percentage of matches and or the number of occurrences. Call us today if you would like to schedule a brief training session on this great feature. And as always, thanks for watching and we hope you have a great day.